for staying in. And that was, that was a beautiful message. I was blessed. I was really blessed. Thank you, sir. God bless you. God bless Pastor Wilson as he's ministering tonight also. In the name of Jesus, may the Lord do great exploits in our choir bomb tonight. In the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Praise God. So, man, like I said, uh, let's be focused. Are we together? Let's be what? Focused. No loitering. And if you want to do anything, please just get up and go do it quietly. Is that okay? Hallelujah. Amen. So God has a plan for the year for you and me. Even be before the year came, God, God's got a plan. God's got a plan. Hallelujah. And his plans for us are plans of good. Amen. Amen. Plans of what? Good. I mean, Jeremiah 29. 11. He said, I know what I have planned for you. I'm reading the New English Translation. I know what I have what? Planned. I'm not reading King James. New English. Is there, I know what I have what? Planned. So before the year started, God has already finished it. Hallelujah. Before the year started, God has already what? He has already finished it. I know what I have planned for you. Amen. Planned is done with God. 2024 is done and dusted. Done and dusted. So it's the children of men that are doing giddy giddy and like, um, what's, what's 2024 about, man? 2024 for me is going to be a very great year. Are we together? It's going to be a what? A very great year. How do I know this, man? You can see it in the word of God. I have plans to prosper you. Not to harm you. I have plans to give you a future filled with hope. I mean, 2024 is a good year. God has done it, dusted for me. His plans for me is good, man. So I'm not going into 2024 confused, 2024 perplexed. I'm entering 2024 hopeful. God has done it. God has finished with it. He's talking about future. So when it's 2024, man, I'm entering 2024 like a soldier, gallant. Amen. Amen. I know what I have planned for you. There are plans for good. Not for disaster. To give you what? A future. And what? Hope. A lot of people will be feeling so perplexed. Maybe 2023 was not good. That, that, 2023 and 2024, they are not the same figure. Are they? They are not the same. They are not the same figure. They are not. So God said in verse 12, when you call out to me and come to me in prayer, I will hear your prayers. When you seek me in prayer and worship, you will find me available to you. If you seek me with all your heart and soul, I will make myself available to you, man. So don't joke with 2024 and the Lord. They go together. Hallelujah. They go together. As God is planning, Satan too is planning, you know. God is done with his plan. Satan is looking for what to do. What to do to harm us. What to do to do us evil. First Peter chapter 5, 8 and 9. He said, be sober, be vigilant, be alert. Your enemy, the devil, like a roaring lion, is on the prowl. Looking for someone to do what? To devour. I mean, as God is planning good, the enemy is planning bad. But I tell you the truth. God will not allow him in Jesus' name. So, how do we gain insight into God's plan? It's very important. You know, so when God says he has planned something for you, 
How do you know what God has planned for you? How do you know? How do we know? See, listen, man. We don't live by the Nigeria economy. I mean, if some of us have checked our lives and you check how much is your paycheck, how much is on your paycheck, and how much you spent at the end of the month, you realize that what you spent is more than your paycheck. So how did the differential come? Who brought in the differential? So something should tell us that it's like God is working in our lives. Do you understand what I'm saying? Something is telling us that God is being kind to us. Because your take home is less than your spend home. Hallelujah. So God's been kind. So if he's been keeping you true, he will keep you true and true. So how do we gain insight into God's plan? Live a life that pleases God. Number one. We should live a life that does what? That pleases God. I'm telling you 2024 is already done. God has moved into eternity. <laughs> Hallelujah. So 2025 is done. Before the foundation of the world. It's been done. And that is why prophecy takes us into these years. Hallelujah. Revelation takes us into the timeline of God. Because God has finished counting years. God has moved into where? Eternity. God is in eternity right now. He's gone past time. So how do we gain insight into time? Number one, like I said, we should do what? We should live life that does what? Pleases God. Genesis 6, 8 and 9. The story of Noah. God was displeased with the way mankind went. Everybody was wicked. And God wanted to destroy the whole earth with water. But somehow, Noah was a godly man. He was blameless. He walked with God. And the Bible said he found favor, grace. In the sight of God. He was what? Blameless. Let's live a life that pleases God. When our life please God. God will take us into his plan. Do you understand what I'm saying? God will take us into his word. Into his plan. No child of God will ever be stranded. No child of God. That's in favor. That has found favor with God. That has pleased the Lord. Will ever be stranded. None. None. None will ever be stranded. So if there are one million or one billion people. God will never take all of them together. If he finds one that pleases him. God will take him out. Praise the Lord. Be nice to God. You know, some of us are not nice to God. Have you heard that before? That you should be what? Be nice. Every time we pray, it's like self-centered word, prayer. We never ask God, what do you want? And it's in the Lord's prayer. What God wants, let thy will be done. So that means God too has some things that he wants done. We have never asked God, what do you want? What are you interested in? His father. Uh, my job, my wife, my husband, my work, my, 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 enemy attack, enemy kill. You know, but there's nothing about God, what do you want me to do today? And we just sit down and wait to hear what God has to say. Do you know so many times you have missed God? This sister sitting beside you might be God emotion. Do you understand what I'm saying? Genesis 18. Abraham perceived that these men, they are not ordinary men. Genesis 18 from verse 1. And he knew there's something about them. And 
Abraham was nice to them. And by the reason of niceness, hallelujah, when you get home, you go and read it. How God went to destroy Sodom and Gomorrah. Just because Abraham was nice to God. If he had not done that, do you know what would have happened? Those three men would have crossed to Sodom and Gomorrah. And they would have done what? Destroyed Lot. But because he just gave them nice barbecue. I don't know how he did it with shawarma that has fat oil. You know, was the one that cooked it by himself. He was just nice to God. And God now said, ah, how will I not tell Abraham what I'm about to do? Just because it was nice. This coming year, be what? Be nice. Hallelujah. Be nice. You never can tell you are nice to your angel. And God will take you into his plan. Be God's friend. Are we together? Be God's friend. Abraham was God's friend. Abraham was God's friend. Communing with God. God's friend. Find favor and grace with God. All these things, you see them in Genesis 18. When they were conversing, say, if I find favor with you, if I find grace with you, um, if you find one person, you know, and he's always finding for every time he makes the quest. He always finds favor and grace. And God always responds to him. Number five, be willing to raise godly, gener godly children. It's one of the reasons why God lets him into the plan. When you get on, go and read Genesis 18. God said, seeing that he will raise his children according to my law, according to my word, according to my precepts. You know, these days, um, the days of technology, we allow our children to cartoon so that we can do some other things. You understand what I'm saying? Just give them their tablet so that we can do some other things. And you don't know what they are doing with their tablets. You don't know what they are doing with their phones. But for Abraham, God knew that this man is going to raise godly children. And because of that, God let him into the plan. Believe God. Have faith in him. And never doubt him. Hallelujah. Believe God. Have faith in him. And do what? Never doubt him. If we can do this, five. I tell you, 2024 is a walkover. Before anything happens, God will tell you. Before anything happens, God will do what? He will tell you. Let me, I think I've shared this with us before. During the time of Yara Dua, I was in church around 9 o'clock in Ife, living faith. So the call came in that I should enter Abuja by 2. They needed me because I was working with Yara Dua at that time. So I just told my wife, I said, I have a call. I need to move now. And I was speeding, beep, beep, like 180, 200. I was overtaking everybody. Pa, pa, pa. So there was this small picanto. Picanto. Do you know picanto? And I was driving a Volvo S80. And picanto was following me. If I slow down, the guy would do me like this, you know, flash me like, like guy, move now. And as we were entering Kotokarfi, the Holy Spirit just spoke to me and said, slow down. See, God will always lead you into the future. You understand? The Holy Spirit just says, slow down. If you know Kotokarfi, you know that um, area where you have that road safety? I just slowed down. And the guy was doing me like this. Like, guy, move. I did the guy like this. You go. So the guy left. You know, immediately after that, there's a bend that you take to the right. Everything is not up to five minutes. 
the picanto was shredded. Like shred. You know shred? When you shred paper. Like three corpses. One woman with a baby on her back. So what happened? A cow. You know, these Fulani guys, they put their cows by the road, you know. So one of the cows just entered the road. And this picanto was on top speed. Another car, you know, was not planning that a car would come. And there was head-on collision. It would have been me. Because God sees the future. So he will always talk to his children. He says, the God of future. He says, I want to give you a future. I want to give you a future. Not a future of disaster. It's a good future. And he has already planned it. See, guys, if we are God's friend... If we are God's friend, that we mind his business. See, listen to me. 2024 will be easy. See, I'm not saying that there won't be challenges. There will be challenges. Like how we read in our church, you know. In Genesis 49. From verse 22. You will see the prophetic declaration over Joseph. The enemies hated him. They are sore. They have grieved him. They shot at him. See, it's not that there won't be challenges. He said, but his bow was made strong by the strength of the Almighty God. The God of Jacob, his bow was made strong. See, let me tell you something. The only disaster that will happen to us in 2024 does not end in praise. Do you understand what I'm saying? That would be the only disaster that will happen to any child of God. That the end of 2024 does not end well. In praise. It has to end in praise, man. So, if there are no challenges, where will testimonies come from? How do we come and testify? How do we build somebody's faith if there are no challenges? So, challenges are part of the package. But it will end in what? Praise. 2024 we end in praise. See, um, there's some prayers we did this past week. January after Passover, the Lord told Moses, is the most important of all months in the year. So I tell you tonight, listen to me and don't doubt me. January will not be a problem month for you. Yeah. You don't understand. January will not be problematic for you. Financially, emotionally, January is traumatic, problematic, any tick that you can ever think of. A lot of people struggle in January. But for God, it's a month of power. You will start well in the name of Jesus. You are taking, see, listen, gear one is the most important gear. That's why we have gear one. Gear one is what? It's power gear. It's power gear. That is the strength to move the car. So that is why taking off and landing are the most important aspect in a flight. Taking off and what? Landing. Those are the two. You see, the other one, the pilot is snoring. The aeroplane is on autopilot. They are even playing what you don't know. If you enter the cockpit and you see the two captains playing what? It's on auto. But for takeoff, Everybody's what? Serious. Landing, everybody's what? Serious. But when we are cruising, that's when the story, everybody will be going, what do you want to drink? What do you want to take? Praise the Lord. God told Moses, the month of Abib, January, is the most important because that's your takeoff month. So why should the enemy make it problematic for God's children? I speak to you one more time. January 2024, in the mighty name of Jesus, it will be easy for you. It will be easy for you. Spiritually, it will be easy for you. Emotionally, it will be easy for you. Financially, it will be easy for you. Academically, it will be easy for you. For your whole family, it will be easy for you. For your business, you will take flight in the mighty name of Jesus. So that's the most important month. So, don't prepare your mind. You know, a lot of people have prepared their minds before they stabilize. It's around March. No. Your stability starts January 1. Are we together? 
Good. So, the Lord declared to us that next year is the acceptable year of the Lord. Are you with me? Is what? The acceptable year of the Lord. Isaiah 61, for verse 1. The Spirit of the Lord is upon me. Because the Lord has anointed me to preach good tidings to the meek. He has sent me to bind up the brokenhearted, to proclaim liberty to the captives, and the opening of prison to them that are bound, to proclaim the acceptable year of the Lord, and the day of vengeance of our God to comfort all that man. I mean, who has another version apart from King James? That to proclaim the acceptable, uh, the acceptable year of the Lord is the year of blessing. Hallelujah. He said, he has sent me to tell those who mourn that the time of God's favor to them has come. Another version says, the year that God wants to bless his people has come. So I want to tell you that 2024 is your year of favor. 2024 is your year of blessing. Because why? It is the year that the Lord has planned for you. He said, it's the Lord's acceptable year. It's a year of comfort. Praise the Lord. So don't be perplexed. Don't fret. To appoint unto them that mourn in Zion. To give unto them beauty for ashes. Listen to me. 2024 is going to change your life. Amen. Did you hear me? It will serve you well. Amen. It will work for you. Amen. Beauty for ashes. Look at. If you, if, you, if you get home, you can read to verse 9. Because I'm mindful of time. We have three critical things to do. So when you get home, read to verse 9. And all these things are going to happen to you in 2024. Why? Because it is the acceptable year of the Lord. He said they shall build old ways. They shall raise up former desolation. They shall repair waste cities. When you get home, these are the things you are going to achieve. It's your year of achievement. By favor. It's your year of achievement. It's your year of recovery. By favor. When you get home, read it. If anything like this does not happen to you, you tell the Lord, this is not how we planned it. Are we together? This is not how we planned it. And in Luke chapter 4, from verse 16 to 22, when we get home, read. And Jesus read when he got to the temple. And he said, the prophecy of Isaiah 61 has been what? Fulfilled in their presence. That's verse 21 of Luke 4. He said, this day, this scripture is fulfilled in your ears. See, listen. And that is why we have come tonight. If Jesus said it is fulfilled, what Jesus Christ was saying that it is what? Done. It is what? Done. This scripture is done. This scripture is fulfilled. So how do you benefit in the fulfillment of this scripture? And that is what we are doing tonight. It is a crossover by what? Power. By anointing. By the table, communion table. And by the infilling of the Holy Spirit. Are you with me? So if you are watching us from home. Get your anointing oil ready. Get the communion table ready. And be ready for the fresh feeling of the Holy Spirit. So it's going to be a threefold session. And that was why I said, I don't want loitering. And I want all seriousness. Praise the Lord. So the first fold is the anointing session. And what is this anointing session about? It's for selection and preservation. When you are anointed, you are selected. Hallelujah. He said, 
You prepared feast before me, Psalm 23. You prepared table before me in the presence of my enemy. You anoint my head with what? Oil. In the presence of your enemy. Which enemy won't make you chop? But when you are anointed, the enemy cannot stop your eating. It will preserve you. It will shield you. Do you understand what I'm saying? He said, thou preparest the table before me in the presence of my, not one enemy. Enemies. You anoint my head with oil. You anoint my head with oil. So the anointing of tonight is an anointing of selection and what? Preservation. First Chronicles 16. Verse 13. O children of Israel, God's servants, you descendants of Jacob, God's chosen ones, is the Lord our God. He carries out judgment throughout the earth. 16. The promise he made to Abraham, the promise by oath to Isaac, he gave it as a decree to Jacob. A lasting promise saying to you, I will give the land of Canaan as a portion of our inheritance. So how will they get this portion? They are not plenty. They are small. They don't have strength. They don't have power. The next verse. It said when they were few in number, verse 19, just very few and foreign residents within it, they wandered from one nation to another, from one kingdom to another, he let no one oppress them. He disciplined kings for their sake, saying, don't touch my anointed ones. Don't arm my prophets. See, if you don't carry this anointing, you, mon- you might not get your inheritance. The promised land is their inheritance. If they don't carry the anointing, they will be molested. So this anointing preserved them till they got to the promised land. So I want you to be sensitive tonight about what you are going to carry. Are we together? About what you'll be speaking for you. So it's not a session where we'll just toil. No. We need to carry fresh oil. Psalm 92 verse 10. But my horn shall thou exalt like the horn of a unicorn. I shall be anointed with fresh oil. The strategy of 2023 will not work in 2024. 2024 is not going to look like 2023. You need to carry what? Fresh oil. Fresh anointing. You can't afford to move in a stale strategy. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Second. The Holy Spirit unction. Do you know what unction is called? Trigger. Hallelujah. Trigger. The Holy Spirit what? Unction. For power and purpose. The Holy Spirit is the kind of anointing that we must carry. First John chapter 2. Verse 27. He said, now as for you, the anointing that you have received resides where? In you. In you. And you have no need for anyone to teach you. But as his anointing teaches you about all things, it is true and it is not a lie. Acts 1.8, he said, you will receive power when the Holy Spirit does what? Comes upon you. You will receive power. Physics taught us that power is the ability to do work. That's the second thing we'll be doing. First, the anointing service or the anointing session. Secondly, the infilling of the Holy Spirit. And you cannot be filled if you don't purge yourself. Hallelujah. You cannot be filled if you don't do what? Purge yourself. So, tonight... We are going to do what? Purge ourselves. 
David said, purge me to a high soap and I'll be clean. He said, purge me and I'll be whole. So we need to declutter so that we can receive fresh one. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thirdly, the communion table. It's called um, Holy Communion because it is different. First, first, Corinthians, first Corinthians 11. You know, it's a divine strategy that God is interested in. Because Paul was not with Jesus when he was with his disciples. But Paul said, so that I received from the Lord. So that means that Jesus visited Paul and told him, Guy, you see this Holy Communion? You cannot joke with it. And it tells us something. That Jesus is alive. Are you with me? Because Paul never met Jesus during his ministry. He met Jesus after resurrection. So Jesus is alive. What a privilege to be a Christian. That we are serving a living God. Coming to the communion table. Tonight we are going to partake in a meal. For release and access. And Jesus Christ said. As often as we eat. He said we should do this in remembrance of him. So what is this remembrance? What is this remembrance? What is the remembrance? When we proclaim his return. What's this remembrance? You see, the death of Jesus has brought us into Isaiah 61. Are you with me? Where it said the spirit of God is upon me, he has anointed me to preach. So that death has, has opened a very large vista. Hallelujah. For us. And how can you partake if not by the blood? Hallelujah. If not by what? By the blood. Because his death is necessary for the will, for the new covenant, for the new testament to be assessed. You know, no, no will is active until... The, um, the person that wrote the will dies. No will is active. But the moment the person that wrote the will dies, the will is what? Active. So Jesus had to die so that that new covenant can be assessed by us. So anytime the enemy comes to you or there is a challenge... All you need to do, see, listen, if it is healing, come to the communion table. You can have access to healing. You can have access to deliverance. And if the enemy challenges you that you can't take this for healing, you will say he died. This is an evidence of his death. This is the blood. You know, when, when somebody dies, when you cut the neck of the goat, there is blood now. So you have to show the enemy, say, see the blood. See his body. So when you understand the power and the efficacy of the communion table as an evidence for Jesus, as an evidence of Jesus' death, and you show the enemy, I mean, he has nothing to do but to step aside for you to access whatever you want the communion to do for you. You know, I, have, I was listening to Creflo Dollar. He said he was diagnosed of cancer and he started taking the communion. In the morning, in the afternoon. And so we say, some people say communion is um, night. No, it's not night. When you know that the will, you can bring out the will in the morning time. Say this is the will. You can bring it in the afternoon. You can at any other time. Praise the Lord. So if you understand these three things that we are doing tonight. Then we will now pray. I'm going to pray for the gates of 2024. These gates must favor us. 
Are you with me? That's the only thing we are praying about. After we have finished doing these three, excuse me, finished doing these three things, then we are going to pray for the gates of what? 2024. 2024 is the year of men. Hmm? Is the year of what? Men. Psalm 24. From verse 1. The earth is the Lord's and the fullness thereof. The world and they that dwell therein. For he has founded it upon the seas and established it upon the floods. Who shall ascend into the hill of the Lord? Who shall stand in his holy place? He that has what? Clean hands. You know, I talked about what? Purging. If you want to have access tonight, we have to do what? Purge. He that has clean hands, pure heart, has not lifted up his soul unto vanity, nor sworn deceitfully. He shall receive the blessing from the Lord and righteousness from the God of his salvation. This is the generation of them that seek him, that seek thy face, O Jacob. Sila. Lift up your heads, O ye gates, and be ye lift up, ye everlasting doors, and the King of glory shall come in. Who is this King of glory? The Lord, strong and mighty. The Lord, mighty in battle. Lift up your heads, O ye gates. Even lift them up, ye everlasting doors, and the King of glory shall come in. Who is this king of glory? The Lord of hosts is the king of glory. Sila, full stop. For every gate, there are gatekeepers. Hallelujah. And they don't care if it is Jesus or you. Amen. Even the king of glory was about to be locked out. If they did not know he's the king of glory, strong and mighty in battle, they will lock him out. For every gate, they are what? Gatekeepers. And they are not silent. No gate is left open. Hallelujah. Did you hear me? No gate is what? Left open. Because they are gatekeepers. So if you don't know how to command the opening of gates, and the other brother or sister, get to open for him and will lock you out. And he's still the same God. So that is why you see variance in the lives of children of God. Because there are different levels of oppression. Are you with me? There are gates of men. When Job was being deliberated upon, that was a gate. There are spiritual gates. God and Satan discussing about Job. That was a gate. Anywhere that decision is being made, anywhere that agreement is being made, and you are not there, that's a gate. Boaz got Ruth at the gate. Where decision, agreement are being made. So for you that you are listening to me tonight, Every gate and representation and expression of gates of 2024 will favor you. In the mighty name of Jesus. I say again, every gate and every representation of gates will favor you. In the mighty name of Jesus. Then, we are not going to enter 2024 with six packs because we have six packs. No, we are going to be led. Hallelujah. Micah chapter 2. From verse 12. It said, I will certainly gather all of you, O Jacob. I will certainly assemble those Israelites who remain. I will bring them together like a sheep in a fold. Like a flock in the middle of a pasture. They will be so numerous that they will make a lot of noise. He said, the one who can break through barriers. We lead them out. They will break out. Hallelujah. You will break out in the name of Jesus. In front, you will break out. 
On the left, you will break out. On the right, you will break out. Behind, you will break out. On top, you break out. He said they will do what? They will break out. They will pass through the gates. They will leave. Their king will advance before them. The Lord himself will lead them. The Lord himself will do what? Will lead them. He said, and the Lord on the head of them. That means the Lord ahead of them. The Lord himself will do what? Will lead them. He's the one that will make the life that year easy for us. Why? He's the breaker. So if a door does not want to cooperate with you, he will smash it. Are you with me? He will do what? He will smash it. That is why tonight it's a serious word, business. Before the year enters, we have taken it. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. So the first thing we are going to do, we are entering to the anointing session now. And I want us to begin to check ourselves. Father, is there anything in me that will corrupt this oil that I want to receive? We talked about some purging. And if you are watching us from home, please get your anointing oil ready. Because everything and everyone in the name of Jesus must be anointed tonight. I want you to pray. Father, is there anything in me that will corrupt this oil? It's fresh oil that we are receiving tonight. Father, cleanse me. Lord, cleanse me. I want you to talk to God tonight. And say, Father, cleanse me. Father, cleanse me. 2024 must be different. In the mighty name of Jesus. 2024 must be different. Must be different. In the mighty name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus. It must be different. I want you to talk to God now. Father, cleanse me. Father, cleanse me. In the name of Jesus. Father, cleanse me. This anointing must not be corrupted. In the name of Jesus, I want us to pray. It must not be corrupted. 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 Cleanse me. That's it, Father. Cleanse me. It's the anointing of selection and preservation. This oil speaks. It will speak for you. It will speak for me. Father, cleanse me in the name of Jesus. I receive fresh oil. I receive fresh oil tonight. 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 Masilun Razi Tombra Lizataya. I receive fresh oil tonight. I receive fresh oil tonight. You anoint my head. My cup run it over. It's a night of overflow. It's a night of overflow. In the mighty name of Jesus, even in the presence of my enemies. I want you to pray tonight. Father, I receive fresh oil. Lord, you can't put new wine in an old wine skin. You can't do that. So tonight, we are getting the new wine. We are getting the new wine. So I want us to purge ourselves tonight and say, Father, I receive the oil for unction that speaks in the name of Jesus. This will speak for me in the mighty name of Jesus. Maruskati Abuskati in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Father, Lord, tonight. In the name of Jesus. 
I receive, I receive, I receive, I receive, I receive, I receive, and I cleanse myself, I purge myself tonight in the name of Jesus. Oh, Mausilia Rose Catella Buskit. Is the spirit of anointing tonight for work, for achievement, for purpose. For work, for achievement, for purpose. Jesus said, the spirit of the Lord is upon me because he has anointed me. He has anointed me. He has anointed me. He has anointed me. He has selected me. It's by the spirit tonight. It's by the spirit tonight. So I want us to pray to God. I will never be the same again. I will never be the same again. The Bible said when Samuel took the oil and he anointed David in the midst of the, his brethren. The Bible said the spirit of the Lord came upon David by the reason of anointing. Something fresh, something new is coming upon you tonight. Oh father I receive this oil tonight. I receive this oil tonight. The Bible said the spirit of the Lord rushed upon David by the reason of the anointing. By the reason of the anointing, by the reason of the anointing, I want us to pray tonight in the name of Jesus. Cleanse me. Anything that will hinder the anointing from expressing itself, from expression in my life tonight, Father, cleanse me. Cleanse me. Cleanse me. Cleanse me. Three things we are doing tonight. Three things we are doing tonight. I want you to pray. Masila Ruskatiaba. In the mighty name of Jesus, cleanse me. Lord, cleanse me. In the name of Jesus, cleanse me tonight. From all impurities, Lord, cleanse me tonight. In the name of Jesus, cleanse me. Cleanse me. Cleanse me. In the name of Jesus. Ah, Rabuska Tialabusa. Musalia Katara Bosu. E Kuntalia Bushalia Dasa. Ah, I want you to pray tonight. Whatever will hinder it, whatever will corrupt it tonight. Hey, Father, Lord, cleanse me. Oh. I receive fresh oil. I receive new wine. I receive new wine. I receive new wine. If you are watching us from home, we are about to. Pastor Sam, please. We serve us in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Heavenly Father. Let's pray. Father, Lord, in the name of Jesus. In agreement, Lord God. As your church has been anointed. Father, let there be a rushing of the Holy Spirit upon everyone that be anointed tonight. Lord, this is an agreement of fresh oil. Fresh oil. Fresh oil. Fresh oil. New life. New beginning. New life. New beginning. New slate. In the name of Jesus. Father, every ordinance that is against them hitherto, Lord, till this moment, by this anointing, every ordinance speaking against your children, this anointing will wipe them off. It will erase them in the mighty name of Jesus. Every voice that is speaking contrary, Lord, in the lives of your children, even by the reason of this all tonight, my Father, my God, this anointing will silence them. In the mighty name of Jesus, my Father, my God, this anointing will preserve your children. It will not permit any king to arm them. In the mighty name of Jesus, even in the year 2024 and beyond, in the mighty name of Jesus, thank you, Heavenly Father. In Jesus' name we are praying. Amen. So, the usher will direct you as you will come. So, we will have the anointing session now. Then, we will have the communion. Then, 
we have the infilling of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Yes. Thank you, sir. Choir, please. So if you are home watching us online, please get your anointing oil. It's the anointing of selection and preservation. In Jesus' name. Corinthians First Corinthians 11 Verse 23 for I have received of the Lord that which also I delivered to you. That the Lord Jesus, the same night in which he was betrayed, he took bread. And when he had given thanks, he break it and said, Take it. This is my body, 
which is broken for you. This do a remembrance of me. After the same manner also, he took the cup, hallelujah. When he had supped, saying, This cup is the New Testament covenant in my blood. This do ye as often as you drink it in remembrance of me. For as often as you eat this bread and drink this cup, you do so the Lord's death till he comes. Wherefore, whosoever shall eat this bread and drink this cup of the Lord unworthily shall be guilty of the body and the blood of the Lord. But let the man examine himself. So let him eat of that bread and drink of that cup. But let a man examine himself. So let him eat of that bread and drink of that cup. Let a man examine himself. So let him eat of that bread and drink of that cup. For he that eats and drinks unworthily eats and drinks damnation to himself. Not, not, not what? Discerning the Lord's body. For this cause, many are weak and sickly among you, and many sleep. For if we will judge ourselves, we should not be judged. For he that eats and drinks unworthily, eats and drinks damnation to himself, not discerning the Lord's body. Hello. This is not a scary table. Are you afraid? From the scripture that I read. Is this scary? Is this scary? If it's scary, please let me see your hands up, man. No, sincerely, we need to, you know, God does not give us, it's not, he doesn't give the spirit of fear. There's no fear in God. Hallelujah. Who is afraid? Because of the word damnation. Now the problem is not discerning the Lord's body. And so what is discerning the Lord's body? Now, um, Daniel chapter 5. Daniel chapter 5. I want to show you what discernment means and how damnation comes. Praise God. Daniel chapter 5. Daniel. D-A-N-I-E-L. Da who, who went to Montessori school? Uh, where are your twins now? Uh, okay, they are sleeping. They should come and teach them how to spell Daniel. <laughs> Belshazzar the king made a great feast to a thousand of his lords and drank wine before the thousand. Next verse. Belshazzar, whilst he tasted the wine, commanded to bring the golden and silver vessels which his father Nebuchadnezzar had taken out of the temple which was in Jerusalem. That the king and his princes, his wives, his concubines might drink therein. We are talking about discerning what? The Lord's body. Next verse, please. Next verse. Then they brought the golden vessels that were taken out of the temple of the house of God, which was at Jerusalem. And the king and his princes, his wives and concubines. What a great love. Wives and concubines together. What a great, what, what, what unity and harmony. Praise the Lord. And they drank in them. Next verse. They drank wine and praised the gods of gold. Gods of silver, of brass, of iron, of wood and stone. Next verse. In the same hour came forth fingers of a man's hand. And wrote over against the candlestick. Upon the place of the wall of the king's palace. And the king saw the part of the hand that wrote. Then the king's countenance was changed. There's something about Gogoro when, when Yahweh gas. Do you understand what I'm saying? 
When you see guys, we are talking about discerning the Lord's body. When you see guys driving, I mean, God help us. I was, I was, God, don't let me say this one. It was me and Dara. I be, you remember that night? One man drove one terrible thing for me. It was me and Dara that were in the car. I pursued the guy. And I was, you know, Avalon is a sweet car. I pursued the guy. Then I now came close to the guy. And now, it was me and Dara. And I gave him home. Pam, pam, pam. The guy saw me. He ran again. I pursued him. You know, when you can't run, I came. I won't tell you what I did that night. <laughs> Honestly, I wanted to pack the guy. It was, he had a son. His son too was in the car. I wanted to pack him. But after if I pack him, our eye will clear. Do you understand? I just stop, thought of the guy's son. Because the son too was in the car. You know, that's the problem with, with road rage. When you hear ghosts, you see, the Ogogoro, everything will do what? We clear. That was what happened to Bechesa. Say you were not discerning what your father did not do. Hmm? You now have big tests. You said they should bring the utensils from the temple of the Most High. Then you guys started using, you were now using it to drink. You thought it was a cup. It's not a cup. It's more than a cup. You thought it was a silver cup, silver spoon. That was not a silver spoon. That was, that was the power and the spirit of God in the metal. Your father didn't do it. You think he crazy. And he brought damnation. And the hand wrote, take it, take it. You, see, you have been weighed on the scale and found wanting. That is what God is saying about damnation. If you don't understand what this represents, Jesus took bread and he said, This is my body. It's his body. Are you with me? It is his body, like flesh with nerves, with everything, blood in it. Are we together? He said, This is my body. As Jesus called it, receive it so. Receive it so. It carries all the efficacy that the body, the flesh of Jesus carries. This is not an ordinary meal. What do you think? If somebody's fainting, Jacob and um, David was pursuing, when God told him to pursue and recover, when they were going to recover, they met one guy who was fainting. What did they give the guy? They just gave the guy bread and the guy was revived and he showed them the way. See, if ordinary bread revives a dying man. What do you think this me would do for you? What do you think this me would do for you? Bread and wine. They gave me bread and wine. And the guy came back to life. This will give you much more than that. Discern it. The discernment is understanding it. So that you will not be weighed. Are you with me? So that you will not be weighed and you'll be found wanting. It's better you don't eat it. Don't come and eat wafers. This is not wafers. So. They will eat wafers. You'll be found wanting. It's not Ribina. We use Ribina for it. I'm telling you how we prepare it. Sister Janet. What did you bring together? Is it Rabina? I don't know what. Whatever I bought, Ozuba, I don't know what. But this is the blood of Jesus. Yes, sir. Hallelujah. Yes. Belshazzar thought it was, it was cup. It's not cup. And that is why a lot of people remain sickly. Because the essence of this table is to make you whole. When you have HIV, 
when you take it and you understand that this is leading me, is giving me access into healing. That this is more than antiretroviral drug. You will receive healing. Are you with me? You will receive what? Because you designed it. You understood it. You are not seeing what is there. You are seeing the blood and you are seeing the flesh. Because if you don't eat my flesh, John chapter 6, and you don't drink my blood, you don't have any part in me. Are we together? I don't know whatever you came with tonight. If you understood it now. Who understands it now? Do you understand the table we are at here? This is not Ibina. It is what Jesus called it. Hallelujah. It is what? What Jesus called it. It leads us into the will. Because this is the evidence of his death. This is the evidence. So if you want to partake of that inheritance that he has written down for you in the will, you have to come through this meal and understand it that this is the blood that came from his death and this is the flesh that came from his death. Do you understand what I'm saying? So when the enemy comes to challenge you, you say, see the blood, see the flesh. Are we together? I don't know what you came here, came here with tonight. God will set to it. Hallelujah. God will do what? Set to it. It's a terrible meal. It was instituted at the Passover. It's a meal of sharp sharp. Are we together? It's a meal of what? Whatever has held you down, your generation down, Tonight, you will not carry it into 2024. Because the Lord is about to move through your generation. He's going through your generation. Are you with me? Discern the Lord's body. I want you to talk to God. As I partake. I don't know what you want to attach to this meal now. Tell the Lord, I understand. I understand that this is your flesh. If you are at home and you are, you are, you are watching us, prepare your bread, prepare, prepare your wine. This meal, it's a meal of forgiveness. Don't be afraid, because even the blood is shed for the remission of sins. Shared for the remission of sins. Come and partake. By the blood. By the blood. Oh. Don't be afraid to come to the table tonight. I don't know what you want to attach to it. Whatever is in your body that is not working. Father as I take. As I take. Let everything work. Let everything work. Let everything work. Let everything work. Wherever you have been locked out tonight, as you partake, if the grave opened, ah, that door will open for you tonight. That door will. If the tombstone was rolled away, I mean, there will be a rolling away tonight. There will be a rolling. There will be an emergence tonight. Somebody is coming out new into 2024. Somebody is coming out new into 2024 by the reason of this table. I want you to talk to the Lord tonight. In the name of Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Pastor Sam, please come. Let's pray. Father, we agree tonight that everything that your body and your blood represent we find expression in our lives in the mighty name of jesus spirit soul and body everything and anything 
your flesh represents yes. your body represents your blood represents and it is expected to do father let it find expression in our lives in the mighty name of jesus thank you heavenly father in jesus name we have prayed amen so we share the Amen. So when we take the bread, the flesh, eat it immediately. When you receive the blood, which we are taking that one together. Is that okay? God bless you.
shall be upstanding. This is the evidence. Satan has nothing on us anymore. Satan has nothing. The enemy has nothing on us anymore. So if you are watching us from home, we are proclaiming the death of the Lord. That this is the evidence of his death. And we cannot be locked out of the New Testament, the New Covenant. And Father, this is to you in the name of the Father, of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Bless his name for the access. Bless his name for the covenant. And say, Father, Lord, I thank you. Father, Lord, I thank you. I give you praise. Oh, Calibro Saliada. Thank you, Talibus Calia. Thank you, Lord. Thank you. Thank you, Lord. Just bless his name in the mighty name of Jesus. That he has made a way, even by his blood. He has made a way. He has made a way. Just give him thanks. He has made a way. He has made the crooked path straight. Give him thanks tonight and bless his name. Say, Lord, I thank you for your death on the cross for my life for 2024. Lord, you have gone ahead to make a way. I'm not locked out in the name of Jesus. Brethren, we have 16 minutes to go. We have to just bless his name. We have one more thing to do. Bless his name for the blood. Bless his name. The blood that speaks better things than the blood of Abel. Hallelujah. The blood that speaks better things than the blood of Abel. If you are home, you can take your blood now and say, Lord, I thank you for the blood that speaks better things than the blood of Abel. Thank you. The blood that gives us access. The blood that made a way for me and you. Lord, I thank you. On your body, you received the tribes by which we were healed. Lord, we thank you for the communion table. Lord, we thank you for this strategy. Lord, we thank you for this strategy. We receive your flesh tonight we receive your blood tonight we take it oh God to our healing we take it to our strengthening we take it to our reviving in the name of Jesus bless his name bless his name in the name of Jesus and say Lord thank you Lord thank you Lord thank you in the mighty name of Jesus hallelujah thank you thank you thank you thank you Thank you. In the mighty name of Jesus. In Jesus name we have prayed. Hallelujah. Let's have our seats. We have one more thing to go. Within this time before we begin to shout happy new year. Amen. Amen. So which one is correct? Is it this one? My own? Or this one? This one is saying level minutes two. This one is saying 18. This one is saying 14. Where am I? Eh? It, court order all right so 17 minutes to i work with this ah out it is 16 okay 16 gmt okay we work with pastor sam he has added gmt so that is the correct time Hallelujah. When it is five minutes, signal me GMT signal. Amen. <laughs> Praise the Lord. So, the last one for tonight, before we pray, is the feeling of the Holy Spirit. Hallelujah. 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 Amen. When the Holy Spirit comes, man, we are empowered. It becomes the trigger. First John chapter 2, 27. It becomes the unction. First John chapter 2, 27. He becomes the trigger. He becomes, he becomes our teacher. He leads us into all truth. Hallelujah. It's the anointing. That was the anointing that Jesus received after baptism. The Bible said, and the Holy Spirit... Came upon him like what? Like a dove. Like a dove. What we are about to receive is uncommon. Hallelujah. You begin to become wiser than your teachers. 
when people are stranded, you just be going forward. And they begin to ask you, oh boy, how do they do them? Because he's speaking to you. You will hear him telling you, this is the way. This is the way. 2024 will never be like 2023. 2024 will be much more better. By the unction of the Holy Spirit. Exodus 31. And the Lord spake unto Moses. Saying. Exodus 31. See I have called by name. Bezalel. The son of Uri. The son of all. Of the tribe of Judah. Next verse. And I have filled him. I have filled him. It's not I gave him. Jesus was filled with the Holy Ghost without measure. So of the grace that was upon Jesus, we receive grace for grace. Jesus had no measure. God said, I filled him with the Spirit of God. In what? Wisdom. So, the level of wisdom Bezalel had was full. Not half. In what? Understanding. I mean, that guy is complete. He had the principal thing. Hallelujah. He had what? The principal thing. Bezalel had it. By who? By God. And in knowledge and in all manner of workmanship. So when you are talking about carpentry, basically say, I know. Mechanic, I know. I know. Why? He had the principal thing from God. To devise cunning works, to work in gold, in silver, in brass. Next one, we are going to say, and in cutting of stones to set them. What's his problem? Eh? When you are designing, but this is that I know how to design. And in design, and his design will be exceptional. Why? The wisdom is from God. He will cut stone, he will set them, he will cut him by, he will set them. All manner of workmanship. And I, behold, I have given with him the son of Isamek, of the tribe of Dan, in the hearts of. We are going to pray. Fill me up, Lord. Can you be upstanding? Fill me up with your spirit to full measure. Fill me. Spirit of the living God, fall afresh on me. Spirit of the living God, Fall afresh, Spirit of the Living God, Spirit of the Living God, fall afresh on me. Oh, Spirit, Spirit of the Living God, fall afresh, Spirit of the Living God. Spirit of the living God, fall afresh. Oh, hallelujah, Spirit of the living God, fall afresh. Two things we are going to pray for. Next year is the new year of men. Are you with me? Two things we are going to pray for. Father, fill me with your spirit in the expression of wisdom. It has to be expressed. There's no point having it and people are not seeing it. Are you with me? We are going to pray. Father, fill me with your spirit in the expression of wisdom, in the expression of understanding, and in the expression of knowledge. Can you quickly pray in the name of Jesus? 
Can you ask in the name of Jesus? Father, as I pray for myself, Father, in the name of Jesus, fill me up with your spirit in the expression of wisdom, in the expression of knowledge, in the expression of understanding, in the mighty name of Jesus, Father. Fill me up in the mighty name of Jesus. Everybody prays for himself. Everybody prays for herself. I want you to ask in the name of every child. Children, you can pray. Children, you can pray. Ask God to fill you up with uncommon wisdom, uncommon knowledge, uncommon understanding. Children, pray. Ask, ask, ask. Pray. Pray. And tell the Lord, fill me up, O oh God, in the mighty name of Jesus. That, that will make me outstanding in the year 2024. Is somebody praying? Father, fill me up. Lord, fill me up in the name of Jesus. Let there be an expression. Let there be an expression in my workplace, in my household. Let there be an expression of wisdom. Let there be an expression of understanding. Let there be an expression of knowledge in the mighty name of Jesus. In every kind of workmanship, let there be an expression. In the year 2024, I will be outstanding. I will be outstanding. I will be outstanding. In my business, I will be outstanding. In my responsibilities, I will be outstanding. In my career, I will be outstanding. By your spirit, oh God, I will not be common. I will be unusual. In the mighty name of Jesus, Father, Lord, fill me, Lord, with your spirit. I ask for your spirit. I ask for your spirit tonight for 2024. The spirit to make one outstanding in the mighty name of Jesus for me and my household. Let your spirit, oh God, be upon us in the mighty name of Jesus. Malika Tola Bralesa. Maleke to Rabusalia in the mighty name of Jesus. Father Lord, I hope somebody's praying. In Jesus' name we have prayed. We are going to pray. There are two. I told you 2024 is the year of men. You don't need any kind of people in your life. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. Something has been coming repeatedly in my heart. And it's a phrase. And I understood the phrase while I was coming from Ife. It's not that I'm not interested, but I'm not given to it. I will explain. As much as you want me, it's not that I'm not interested, but I'm not given to it. This is the year that you not waste your time with people. Are you with me? Mm -mm, you can't. There's so much to do than to be rolling around mere men people that cannot i mean i need one person that is that is of the value of david yes, sir. one is okay for me david soldiers told him you can't go to get water you are worth more than ten thousand men value value i mean this year 2024 you can't be rolling with every Tom Dick and Harry. You can't be calling every Tom Dick and Harry. You can't be answering every call. It's not because you are proud. You are not giving to it. <laughs> I hope you understand what I'm talking about. It's not pride. It's value. It's value. It's value. <laughs> you don't respond to everything. It's value. Hallelujah. It's value. And look at who God brought into the life of Bezali. Verse 6. And I, behold, have given with him Aholiab, the son of Isamak, of the tribe of Dan, in the hearts of all that are wise hearted. I have put words, wisdom. I want you to pray. Father, bring men of value into my life. Father, Attach with me in the year 2024. We have five minutes to go. Men of value. 
men of value, men of wisdom. Father, let our path cross as you did for Bezali. My father, help me, God. Men, women that will add meaning, that will give meaning to my life. In the mighty Karabos Kayada, Maseketo, Rigatako, Braleta. Women that will bring meaning into my life. Men that will bring meaning to my life. Boys that will add meaning to my life. Girls that will add meaning to my life. Father, 2024, I refuse to waste my time with every Tom, Dick, and Harry. Next year is the year of men. My Father, help me. Men, oh God, is somebody praying? Lord, in the name of Jesus, help me, Lord. Help me, Lord, in the mighty name of Jesus. Father, help me. Oh, my Father, my God, in the name of Jesus, men of value, in the mighty name of Jesus, my Father, my God, men that will add meaning to my life, in the mighty name of Jesus, Father, bring men, Father, send men to me, send women to me, in the mighty name of Jesus, send women to me, Father, Karuba Skata, no men, oh God, that would diminish me, no women that would decimate me, Father, bring them to me, in Jesus name we are praying Amen. finally we are about to enter 2024 now Paul writing to the Thessalonians in 1 Thessalonians chapter 3 and Paul wrote he said finally from verse 1 when I could stand it no longer I decided to stay alone in Athens and I sent Timothy our brother to visit you to strengthen you and encourage you. You don't need people that, that will discourage you. You don't need people that will decimate you. I mean, I want you to pray. Father, send me men that will strengthen me. Maybe you need financial strength next year. I don't know the kind of strength you need. Father, send me men, women, that will add to my life. That will strengthen me. Men of encouragement. Women of encouragement. In the mighty name of Jesus. Men of comfort. Women of comfort. In the mighty... I hope you are praying. In the name of Jesus, we have just three minutes to go. Father, in the name of Jesus, send me, my Father, my God, send me, oh God, men, women that will encourage me, men that will establish me, men that will help me, women that will solidify me, that will add value to my life. No women that will take, no men that will take, no boys that will take, in the name of Jesus, in the year 2024, my Father, my God, women that will add to my ministry men that will add to my ministry in the mighty name of Jesus men that will add to my faith women that will add to my faith in the name of Jesus I hope you are praying Father I don't want to waste my time with every Tom Dick and Harry next year is the man is the man's year my father my God help me Lord in the mighty name of Jesus in the mighty name of Jesus Father help me in the mighty name of Jesus, send men to me. Quality men, oh God. Divine men, oh God. Divine women, oh God. Divinely enabled. Divinely empowered. In the mighty name of Jesus, send them to me. Send them to my household. Send them to my job. Send them to my ministry. No men that will destroy me. No women that will destroy me. In the mighty name of Jesus, send them to me. Men that will help me. Women that will raise me. Men that will raise me. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Men and women that you have a passion. Oh God. To my destiny. In the mighty name of Jesus. I will not be alone. I will not be stranded. I will not be without help. I will not be without help. In the mighty name of Jesus. I will not be without assistance. In the mighty name of Jesus. We have one minute to go. We have one minute to go. 2024. You are my year. My year of men. My year of men. My year of men. Men from the north. Comfort. Men from the south. Comfort. Men from the east. Comfort. Men from the west. Comfort. In the mighty name of Jesus. Our destiny must cross. Our path must cross. We have one minute to go. One minute to go. In the mighty name of Jesus. Our destiny must cross. In the name of Jesus. 
in the mighty Karabo Shilada, in Dangranobo Shilada, in the mighty name of Jesus. 2024, you are my year of men. I will not be without help. In the mighty name of Jesus, I will not be without help. I will not be without assistance. In the mighty name of Jesus, 2024, I will be with assistance, divine assistance, divine support, divine support. In the mighty name of Jesus, in Jesus' name, we are praying. 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 Happy New Year! Happy New Year! Happy New Year! Congratulations! 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 Go around, shake somebody! Shake somebody! Shake somebody! Happy New Year! Oh my baby! Oh my baby! Happy New Year! 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 Go and say somebody mine. Happy New Year! Happy New Year! Happy New Year! Amen! Happy New Year! Amen! We made it! Amen! Amen! Why don't you give God praise for this year? Say, Lord, we thank you. Lord, we bless you. Lord, we bless you. Thank you, Lord. Just give Him praise. Give Him praise. Give Him praise. Thank Him. Can you begin to speak into the year? Begin to speak to January. Begin to speak to January. Begin to speak to February. January, you will do me good. February, you will do me good. March, you will do me good. April, you will do me good. May, you will do me good. June, you will do me good. July, you will do me good. August, you will do me good. September, you will do me good. October, you will do me good. November, you will do me good. December, I will testify. December, I will testify. December, I will testify. December, I will glorify. December, I will rejoice. In the name of Jesus. Thank you, Father. We receive the year with thanksgiving. In Jesus' name. Amen. 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 We are going to prophesy. Hallelujah. Micah chapter 2. Katora Buska. You are going to prophesy. Every obstacle. The Bible said Jesus is the barrier breaker. Micah, Micah, who is there? Micah chapter 2. Verse 13. The one who breaks through barriers will lead them. The breaker has come up before them. They have broken up. Put another version so that we can understand the English. We are going to pray. Father, you will be my leader in 2024. Every barrier you will break for me. Can you pray and prophesy? You will break every barrier. You will break every barrier. You will break every barrier. In the mighty name of Jesus. You will break every barrier. You will break every gate. In the mighty name of Jesus. You are my Lord. You are my God. In the mighty name of Jesus. You are the barrier breaker. My Father, my God. Every barrier. Every barrier. Every barrier. Jesus break. Every barrier. Jesus break. Human barrier break. Demonic barrier break. Financial barrier break. Emotional barrier break. Can you begin to prophesy? Massacre Taliabota. Maracataba. 2024, you will be easy. 
2025 will be easy. 2025 will be easy. 2025 will be easy. Every financial barrier, every spiritual barrier, Jesus break it. In January break. In February break. In March break. In every break. In every break. In June break. In July break. Every barrier in August break. In September, Jesus, you are a barrier breaker. You are the barrier breaker. You are the barrier breaker. In September, break. Oh, in October, break. In November, break them. In December, break. Oh, every barrier that is standing <coughs> against me, every obstacle that is standing against me, Jesus, you are the barrier breaker. Ah, yeah, 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 yeah. You are the barrier breaker. 2024, you are the barrier breaker. In the name of Jesus, in Jesus' name we are praying. I think we don't understand that prayer. What we are praying about is that we will not be stranded. You don't understand. We will not be what? Stranded. We are saying when it comes to entering glory, there are those that enter glory. The five foolish virgins will tell you that you can be locked out of glory. When the bridegroom came, the door was already closed. You are going to pray. Jesus, you are the barrier breaker. I will not be locked out of glory. I will not be stranded. Every barrier. Break for me in the name of Jesus. Can you pray? Break for me. Break for me. I will not be stranded. When my mates are moving forward, when my mates are progressing, I will not be stranded. Oh, you don't know what we are talking about. My father, my God, when my mates are advancing, when my mates are advancing, when my mates are going higher, when my mates are climbing higher, my father, my God, you are the barrier breaker. Break the barrier for me. Break the barrier for me. In the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, break the barrier for me. Break the barrier for me. Ay, 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 ay. I will climb by in the name of Jesus. I will go forward. I will not be locked out. I hope somebody is praying. Jesus, you are the barrier breaker. Help me, help me, help me. In January, help me. In February, help me. In March, help me. In April, help me. In May, help me break it. Help me break, help me break. In June, help me break. In July, help me break. I will not be stranded. Hey, yeah, 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 yeah. In August, oh, break for me. In September, break. In October, break. Hey, I will not be stranded. Hey. In November, break. In December, Father, break, 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 break. You are the barrier breaker. You are the barrier breaker. Go ahead of me. Into every month of God. Go ahead of me. In the name of Jesus. In Jesus name we pray. Listen. What we are talking about is that. You will not know shame in 2024. You don't understand. Some virgins have already crossed in. Then some are locked out. Jesus barrier breaker. Help me break every barrier of shame. Can you open your mouth and pray? Break every barrier that will cause me shame. Maybe your business, ah, maybe your finance. Everybody that will bring me shame. Everybody that will bring me shame. Everybody that will bring me shame. Lord, break it, oh, break it, break it, break it. Have ah, mercy, Father, mercy, Father, mercy. Everybody that will bring me shame. Everybody that will bring me shame. Father, break it. Father, break it. In the name of Jesus. Father, break it. Everybody that bring me shame. Father, break it. Lord, break it. Lord, break it. Lord, break it. Lord, break it. Everybody that bring me shame. That will let shame to catch up with me. Everybody that will let shame catch up with me. Father, break it. Father, break it. Father, break it. In the mighty name of Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. 
Let me tell you one barrier. <laughs> you see, listen to me. When your mates are doing what is what, what is supposed to be done at every stage of life, and they did their own and they move forward, and you have not done your own, you are stagnant there. Did you, do you understand what I'm saying? You are stagnant. Luke 1 36. Quarter after 12, we'll go home. We have to unlock the year. Yes, <laughs> Are you with me? You unlock the year and you will lock the year. Are you with me? You lock. What we are doing is what? We are unlocking. Then we will lock too. Put King James. Or oh. See, leave it. He said, furthermore, six months ago, your auntie, this is the angel talking to Mary. Hmm? He said, your auntie Elizabeth, the barren one, they called her. That's a bad libel. It's a barrier. 2024. Every label of shame that has kept you, that has made shame to catch you by the reason of blockage, in 2024, I want you to pray. Father, shatter the barrier in the name of Jesus. Shatter it. Every name they called me. Oh, every name that is called unto me by reason of stagnation. Father, this year, shatter it. Father, this year, shatter it. Father, hey, the bad one, the poor one, the bad man, the indebted one. I want you to pray. Change it, Lord. Shatter it, Kakaraba. Shatter. Shatter it, Lord. Shatter it, Lord. Every name that have been called by the reason of a barrier, Lord. My Father, my God, shatter it. Father, shatter it. Father, shatter it. Father, shatter it. In the name of Jesus. Father, shatter it. In the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. Last prayer. Lift up your head, O ye gates. Psalm 24. And be lifted up everlasting doors. They are gates, they are doors. So gates takes you into the compound. Doors take you into the house. We are going to pray. In the name of Jesus. Every gate of every day every door in every day throughout 24 open unto me in the name of Jesus open your mouth and pray I will not be locked out I will not be locked out I will not I will not be locked out of any day I will not be locked out of any day I will not be locked out of any day I will not be locked out of any day I will not be locked out of any day in the name of Jesus I will not be locked out 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 in the mighty name of Jesus. I will not be locked out of any day in the name of Jesus. I will not be locked out in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. I will not be locked out of any day in the mighty name of Jesus. I will not be locked out of any day gates of every day of every month doors of every day of every month be open unto me be open unto me be open unto me and be open unto me in jesus name we pray psalm 68 verse 19 this is our last prayer point the last prayer point then you go home or you can go to town and be enjoying your fireworks Psalm 68 verse 19. Blessed be the Lord, King James, who daily loads us with benefits. Another version says, who carries our burdens every day. Every day. He loads us with benefits. You are going to pray. Every benefit in every day. That is my portion. That is my heritage. 
that is my inheritance. I will not miss it. In the year 2024, see, listen, there are destiny still as well. There are destiny still as well. They are destiny. The enemy will not steal my portion. Can you pray in the name of Jesus? The enemy will not steal my allocation. The enemy will not steal my allocation. My divine portion. My divine allocation. My divine benefit. The enemy will not steal it. In the mighty name of Jesus. I will not miss my allocation. I will not miss my portion. In the mighty name of Jesus. I will not miss it. I will not miss it. My divine allocation. My divine portion. I will not miss it. In the name of Jesus. Spirit, soul and body. I will not miss my divine allocation. In the mighty name of Jesus. Spirit, soul and body. I will not miss it. Thank you Heavenly Father. Let us begin to give God praise tonight. Sing to the Lord. It's a great year. It's the acceptable year of the Lord. Give the Lord praise. Sing to the Lord. Give him praise. Give him praise. I bless your name. 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 Bless his name. Sing to him. Worship him. Worship him. Adore him. Adore him. It's a great year. It's a good year. It's the acceptable year of the Lord. It's the year of the blessing of the Lord. I bless your name. I bless your name. Oh. I bless your name. I praise your name. Bless your name. I bless your name, Jehovah. Oh, I bless your name. I bless your name. Oh, I praise your name. I praise your name. me 2024 it will end in praise yeah. 2024 it will end in praise yeah. 2024 it will end in praise yeah. bro 2024 it will end in praise yeah. 2024 I speak to you in the life of everyone under the sound of my voice that every man, every woman every boy, every girl under the sound of my voice shall end in praise none will be missing in your house you will not know the grave of your loved ones you're going out it is well you're coming in it is well you're sleeping, it is well. Amen. You're rising, it is well. Amen. It is well with you in your workplace. Amen. It is well with you when you are traveling. Amen. It is well with you in the air. Amen. It is well with you on the ground. Amen. It is well with your bread. Amen. It is well with your water. Amen. It is well with your soul. Amen. It is well with your spirit. Amen. It is well with your body. In the mighty name of Jesus, you will not beg for bread. You will not look to the enemy to eat. It is well with your finance. In the mighty name of Jesus, it is well with your relationship with God. In the name of Jesus, thank you, Lord, for January. Thank you for February. March will do you well. April will do you good. May you will testify. June you will sing joy. Hey, July you will praise the Lord. August you will dance for joy. September you will shout hallelujah. 
October you will sing Hosanna. November you will testify. December is Thanksgiving. In the name of Jesus. 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 In Jesus name. Congratulations is a great year. Don't be afraid. Hallelujah. Amen. January will do well for Amen. you. For some people, it will be difficult. But for you, now walk over. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Put your offerings together as your first offering of the year. And tie it to the Lord. And say, Father, this year, money will not be scarce. If it is dance, you want to dance. Dance unto the Lord. It will not be scarce in the name of Jesus. And listen, on the 7th, we are having our first Thanksgiving service. Please be here. Come and thank the Lord. First Thanksgiving service is on the 7th. God bless you. Amen. Choir, please. Hallelujah. Amen. Can we be upstanding as we give our offerings to God? Hallelujah. Amen. Everybody testify, you are good. You are good, Jehovah. You are good. Everybody testify, you are good. You are good, Jehovah. You are good. Everybody, everybody testify. You are good, you are good, eh? you are good, Jehovah. You are oh, everybody testify. You are good, you are good, Jehovah. Everybody 
Amen. I want you to listen carefully. You know that because Bezeli did not understand. I didn't say Bezeli. Belshazzar, no vex. He did not discern. He drank damnation to himself. Listen to me, and I'm saying this with all seriousness. If you are coming for a Thanksgiving, come with something. Are you with me? Come with something. And let it come from your heart. I'm not putting anything out. Something starts from 50 Naira. Hallelujah. God knows what it took you to give 50 Naira. Come with something. Then after we, lock, we unlock the doors of global currency. Do you understand what I'm saying? We unlock the doors of what? Global currency. At least now, I know say in the past some years now, I've taught like five different kinds of currencies. We unlock that door. Bring every child. Though. Every child must touch the money. We want to do some things that are symbolic. Are you with me? Everybody must appear before the Lord. I'm not saying every father, every mother. Every soul. Are you with me? Must come with something. The altar of God is the greatest stock exchange. Is the place where Olori Burukut in Dolori. It's a beautiful ashes. That's an exchange. Don't you understand what I'm saying? It's an exchange. We won't lock that door. Hallelujah. We won't lock that door. Then when you begin to go up and down, don't come and tell me, Pastor, we are busy. We will lock that door against you. <laughs> Praise the Lord. Do you understand what I'm saying? You know, some people, when you become big man now, nah, they actually pastor, you know, these days, I, I hardly sleep where. Well. Their voice will now change. In fact, to get four hours sleep is an issue. Please pray for us. We will pray for you. And you'll be sleeping 24 hours. <laughs> Praise the Lord. That's just a joke. Please. Everybody should come with something. And let us see if the Lord is not on the throne. Hallelujah. Thank you, Father. Receive our offerings, Lord. Receive our offerings, Lord. This year, let help come from Zion. In the name of Jesus. Till this year runs out. We will never come before you empty handed. In the mighty name of Jesus. Thank you for our brothers and sisters that are not yet back. The grace of this moment. Let it find them wherever they are. For every man, every woman watching us online. Till this year runs out. You will never be out of money. In the mighty name of Jesus. As you have given to the Lord, much more shall the Lord replenish you with in the mighty name of Jesus. Lord, thank you for 2024. It shall do us good to the glory of your name. In Jesus' name, we have prayed. Amen. Let's share the grace and fellowship. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the sweet fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with us now and forever. Amen. And surely, goodness and mercy shall follow us all the days of our lives. And we shall dwell in the house of the Lord forever and ever. Amen. God bless you. Please don't forget, 7th of January, we want to unlock the doors of the world. You understand? You'll be bringing utensils from China, Taiwan. You understand what I'm saying? Singapore. You understand? Don't tell me, say, we are busy, pastor. Don't tell me we are busy. Okay. Have a good 2024. God bless you. See you on Sunday for Thanksgiving.
Sunday is Thanksgiving. Wednesday is first prayer meeting. Praise the Lord. God bless you.